Welcome to CheatHappens.com. Today we proudly launch our new software Aurora, so let's take a look. Before we dive in, let's understand what is Aurora. Basically it's an all-in-one app, but mainly it's a trainer manager, which includes all of the cool features and awesome awesome trainers in one place. And in this video I'm going to show you some of them. Let's have a quick look at the homepage. You can see uh, the featured trainers here, all the updated trainers that were updated lately. We've got some statistics about trainers in queue, funded requests, boosted trainers. You can click on any photo or any game which you choose here and you will go straight to the trainers page. From there you can use the trainer. On the trainers tab you can see all of our trainer collection. You can filter it by platform, if it's Steam, Epic, etc. You can sort it by None, Name Ascent, Name Descent, Recently Added. You can sort it by Recently Used, Downloaded Standalone Trainers, or Tracked Trainers that you're interested in. If we click on the photo of the game, we'll get the trainer page. From here you can use the trainer. You can also search for the desired trainer in the search line. From here you can also request new platform request more options, file update request, boost update priority. And you can also go to the board posts. On the request tab, you can see all of the games which people requested the trainer for. You can see the number of requests and their status. If it shows 100% they are fully funded and no other credits are needed. Let's try to add our credits to the game The Witness. We'll click on Add Credits. In this case, let's add 50 credits. We'll click on Submit. As you can see, successfully added credits and our balance is a bit shorter. We can also search for a game to see if it's on the list. Of course we can make a new request as well. From this page we can also download Cosmos, our game hacking tool, as well from the home page. The support tab will take you directly to the support section of the site. Let's review the settings. Go to the settings, we'll need to click over our profile avatar. On the profile tab we can change our avatar. We can also see statistics, total running time, longest session. On the MISC section we can enter the path of Cosmos to open it more easily from here. Under MISC we have the show trainer change lock which shows you what changed in the new trainer version. We have show controller notification. We can choose minimize to trade by clicking the minimize button or by clicking the close button. Auto login and path for the saved automatically logs you in. Enable hardware acceleration which probably causes the software to move more smoothly. Use preview version of Aurora. Use process watcher, which is a cool feature that checks recently started processes and supported games and suggests a favorite trainer for them automatically. 
automatically save an offline version of your favorite trainers. If you start your favorite trainer, an offline version will be downloaded unless an existing offline trainer is less than 12 hours old. Under the appearance tab, you can have some fun with the appearance of Aurora. Let's have a look what we can do. see the options are endless. You can also choose to set image or clear image to offline key, import from theme file, export the theme file. Let's hide the global search button and favorite expander button over here, those two. Let's start in dark mode. Under mobile overlay, we can disable in-game overlay when mobile app is connected. We can disable hotkeys when mobile app is connected. We can disable in-game overlay for all games. Under audio, we can choose our trainer voice, male or female, and the volume. Under standalone trainers, we can add standalone trainers and remove them. We can also clean temporary files. Under keyboard RGB, we can use our RGB keyboard for the trainers. We can choose vendor and settings. Under offline key, we can request an offline key. Of course, after we read it. Under hotkeys, we can see the default hotkeys, the mute, the activate trainer hotkey, etc. Under special thanks, we can see all the people that made this dream come true. We thank you all, of course. At this point, guys, I wanted to show you one of the coolest features of our software. Let's try to run a game from Steam. Oh, we got a notification. You've just started Power Slave Exhumed, Launch Trainer, OK. And it launches the relevant trainer. And you see the game, the latest game version here. Let's activate the trainer via the GUI. Please wait. Please wait. Trainer, trainer activated. activated. So now the trainer is activated. Let's go in game. And activate all of the options via the hotkeys. Numpad 1, activated. Numpad activated. 2, Numpad 3, and Numpad 4. Activated. So we activated unlimited health, unlimited weapon power, super damage, and game speed. Let's see how it works. see it's super fast nothing can hurt us we have unlimited weapon power works like a charm beautiful Finally, let's take a quick look over the Trainer GUI. So, as you can see, this is the change log. Here we can see the version of the game that this trainer was made for. Game is currently not running. We can add the trainer to our favorites. You can also get a notification if this trainer gets updated while we're using it. You can choose to control the trainer via the keyboard 
or the controller. We can also change the view of the GUI of the trainer. On the side we have the activate trainer button, we have the editor, the readme with the instructions, the in-game overlay options, the mobile options, the debug, trainer settings and the trainer boards. We can also report a game update or request a trainer update. Another awesome feature is the launch game option. As long as the game is installed, we can click on that and it will launch it via the distribution we choose. Okay guys, hope you had fun. Please leave us a feedback by clicking the feedback button. We'll be happy to hear from you if you have a suggestion, a question or just want to say hello. Thank you all, I wish you happy cheating and have a good one. Bye bye.